you. A Kansas City woman's bizarre attack has left police wondering if she was taking bath salts. The synthetic drug was thrown into the national spotlight back in May when a 31-year-old homeless Miami man bit off another man's face before police shot and killed him. Police are looking into whether that man was on bath salts too. The victim in that case survived but is undergoing multiple face reconstruction surgeries. KCTV5's Betsy Webster is live in Kansas City tonight with a case that has some similarities. Betsy? Well, Karen, in this case, a man told police that a woman bit him in the arm right on his nicotine patch, didn't break skin, but then got down on all fours and started digging in the dirt. It is just one of several situations that has prompted police now to begin doing some research into all of the new synthetic narcotics on the market. I mean, I've seen him do some crazy stuff, but not that. Charles McBride watched as police approached the woman at these apartments near 61st and Prospect. I saw her dig on the ground like she was like she was digging on the ground like a dog would. They tried to grab her, and then she started kicking back at her. According to the police report, her left leg was mule kicking, and she had what appeared to be dirt in her mouth. They may respond to you in a way that just absolutely makes no sense. Detective Chris Onick says people on some synthetics exhibit behaviors similar to those high on PCP. It does make it difficult when uh, they're aggressive and combative towards you, and then they're non-responsive, and they're delusional, and they may be hallucinating. The officer who responded to last week's report on Prospect first thought the woman was under the influence of PCP. PCP, then noticed the woman's eyes were dilated instead of constricted as they are with PCP, which had him speculate that bath salts might be to blame. Whether they actually were, we don't know. Neighbors say the woman acted strangely all the time. Every time I've met her, she's been off the chain, way off the chain. You know, and like, and everything that she says and then everything she does. But the behavior has come to police enough as of late that they're taking action. We're currently putting together a training block to cover, you know, the generic types, the basic things that you're going to see going over with behavior, um, how, how that stuff is going to impact a person, what to look for if you do find it, what to do with it. Now, speaking of what to do with it, part of the training is going to include, he says, instructing officers to take with them to the hospital anything they find on a person exhibiting these sorts of behaviors, whether or not it resembles uh, a street narcotic that they're accustomed to. That way, the doctors can better care for the person who's been admitted so they know what they might have been using, and police can get a better tracking of what's going on with all this stuff. Reporting live at 61st and Prospect, I'm Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News. Betsy, thank you. The suspect, by the way, was taken to a hospital for a mental evaluation. More than 40 states have banned bath salts and other chemicals that can be used to get high legally. But Special Agent Jeffrey Scott with the Drug Enforcement Administration says it's not that simple. He says last year the DEA banned three of the most commonly used chemicals found in these drugs. And as, as I'm speaking now, you know, the formulations are changing, the chemicals themselves are, are changing, and we've seen it as something of a game of whack-a-mole. You ban or regulate, schedule three chemicals, and then three more appear, and then five more. So it, that represents uh, a challenge. That ban started in October of 2011 and is effective for at least a year. During that time, the agency will decide whether a permanent ban is warranted.